Hi, it's Jen from Dream Prague. Christmas in Czechia is my favorite time of the year. Christmas in Czechia is what dreams are made of. The smell of svarjak and baking cukrovi and the public squares are all beautifully decorated with a giant tree in Old Town Square. I've been begging my friends and family to come and visit us during the holiday season so they could experience all of this. And they finally said, yes, we'll come in 2020. <sighs> but that's why we have the internet, so we can take virtual tours of other cultures and other places from our living rooms. Now there's nothing that I love more than sharing everything I learn about this country with people who've never been here. Um, a lot of Americans are more familiar with Italian or French or even German customs and traditions. They really don't know that much about what Czechia has to offer and that's what I do on this channel. So today, for those of you who can't experience a Czech Christmas this year, I'm gonna bring a little bit of it to you to get you excited about perhaps visiting next year. And after you learn about a few Christmas traditions in Czechia in this video, why not learn about some Christmas traditions in other parts of the world over at italki. Now if you watch my channel, you know that italki is my favorite language learning platform because it introduces me to real people, real actual teachers from all over the world. I've had Czech teachers who were located in Mexico and in Spain and even in Asia. And I've learned so much from them, not just language. I've learned about Czech customs and traditions and even a little bit about the Czech mentality, which is a hard nut to crack. And as their Christmas gift to all of us, Italki is taking us on a virtual tour around the world. So after you watch this video, Click the link below to find out how teachers from all over the world celebrate the holidays. And while you're there, give the gift of language by booking a lesson for yourself or for someone that you love. It's a perfect gift for a friend or a colleague or a family member who's always wanted to learn another language but they're not sure how to get started. Trial lessons start as low as $1. Since the summer, I've been taking about two to three lessons per week on italki, and I am blown away by my progress. And right now, when you buy $10 of italki credits, you'll get $5 off when you click the link below and you enter code EU2020 at checkout. When you click the link, you help me support this channel so I can keep bringing you more Czech customs and traditions. Even though you can't give the gift of travel this year, you can still explore other cultures and other languages when you give the gift of italki. So the first thing I noticed about Czech Christmas traditions is that they're all very superstitious. They're all about predicting the coming year. Who will find love? Who will have a good harvest? Who will die? Um, whose goat will have the sweetest milk. These are all important things you need to know. And this year, we could all use a little fortune telling. So let's dive in. First of all, all young ladies want to know their chances of marriage in the coming year. So if you're waiting for Prince Charming, here's what you do. Throw a shoe behind your back towards your front door. If the toe points towards the door, it means you'll leave your house this coming year for marriage. If the toe points in, just try it again. And again. Just keep doing it until the toe points out. how I finally snagged Hansa. And because you don't just want to be married, you want to be loved, smear honey on your face to ensure that everyone will love you in the following year. Oh, um, I, think, I think that one was for the ladies only. Sorry, Hansa. What good is a happy marriage without health? So we'll ask some apples how our health will fare next year. 
slice an apple around its equator and if you see a star inside, it means you will have good health in the coming year. If you see a cross or a worm, not so much. A time-honored hobby of the Czechs is predicting the weather. On that note, I have never met people more confident in their weather predicting abilities than the Czechs. And I come from a place where it's sunny 355 days of the year. The Czechs will tell you with absolute confidence that it's going to rain three Tuesdays in the future at 4 p.m. I don't know how they do this. Oh, apple seeds. From your cut apples, take 12 apple seeds and dry them, and then put them into a bowl of water. Every apple seed that floats means a sunny and dry month in the following year. Really, 2021? Really? And you're not quite done with your apples. If you happen to have a goat, feed the apples to your goat and it will have sweet milk all year long. He's not really a fruit guy. Next prediction, travel. Ooh, this is a good one. Each person in the family should put a walnut shell with a tiny candle inside it floating on a dish of water. Now, I need a lot of help from Instagram about how to get the little candle into the walnut shell and the consensus was birthday candles. Thank you for that. Once you get them floating in water, there's a whole assortment of predictions about your future that you can make based on the walnut's behavior in the water. And supposedly, if your walnut strays from the others, it means you will have a lot of travel in the coming year. It could also mean isolation and sadness, maybe death. There's a, there's a lot. Oh, oh, we got a mover. We got a mover. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, he's crossing sides. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, I see a new love match. Oh my god. What does this mean in our future? Look at them, they're on a honeymoon. Look at that. I think that is a love match. You think Tobik finds love? Will your home be safe in the coming year? Just push your dog backwards out the door and your home will be protected all year long. It's just mean. It's easier said than done. And of course, wealth. How wealthy will you be in the following year? Well, it all depends on if you ate your carp. As I explained in this video about the differences between Czech Christmas and American Christmas, Czechs traditionally eat carp for Christmas dinner. And if you take one of the carp scales and you put it under your plate, it will ensure the wealth of the household. And then if you take your carp scale and you put it in your wallet for the rest of the year, it will ensure you will never run out of money. Now if you're Czech and you have a carp scale in your wallet right now, please tell me in the comments. For the next activity, we're going to need safety goggles, a gas mask, access to an open window, a blowtorch, some spare lead, an adult over the age of 18, and an oven mitt. Maybe you shouldn't do this at home, especially if you're in America. This is, this is a lawsuit waiting to happen. Here's the deal. The Czechs melt lead with their children in presumably an enclosed area, and then they pour it into water where it immediately forms some sort of organic shape. And from this shape, Czechs predict something about their future. And there's lots of things that they can see in the lead. We found out that this was not as easy as it sounds. Instagram once again came to the rescue and told me that despite the commercials for this lead melting kit, a candle was not enough heat. Unfortunately, in 2020, a blowtorch is a little hard to come by. It's actually more dangerous. 
This is more dangerous. This is very dangerous. <laughs> Not working. Right? Yeah. Mm. So what is ghosts, maybe? I think those definitely look like dementors. What do you think? These were just a few of the Czech Christmas traditions that make this culture so fascinating. I wish you a year of health, wealth, and happiness. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe. And as a gift to me, send it along to someone you know who'd like to learn more about Czech traditions. And don't forget to click the link below and go over to italki to see how some other cultures celebrate the holiday season. And while you're there, give the gift of language to someone you love. Uvidíme se příští týden. Ahoj.